You hear the music? Yeah. It's coming from this. Anyone ever seen something like this before? Yeah. yeah. One of the reasons is it costs $1,200. <laughs> All right? But that's okay. Your parents' ta federal taxes paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not joking. Uh, <laughs> So we use it, we do use it in classrooms. It's an electrostatic loudspeaker. <clears throat> this music is uh, from the original The Day the Earth Stood Still, and Professor Larazzo will be talking more about that in a minute. Have you heard of that movie? Yeah. The original. The original. Yes. 1951. 1950? Yeah. 1951. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is an electrostatic loudspeaker, and the high frequencies are all coming from this region. Oh, the low, this is for the low frequencies. And it's a very, there's a very thin membrane here between these perforated metal plates. Can you see me? I can see you. OK, good. So here's the idea. You, you charge this up. You put negative charge here, positive charge here, to thousands of volts. And it really is thousands of volts. It's a very heavy transformer in here. You charge it up high, and then the audio signal comes in here. And at one point, it'll make this more negative and this less negative. That's going to pull the membrane over. And then at the other point, when this becomes more negative, it'll pull it over there. So this thing vibrates back and forth. And it generates really crisp. Oh, we can just use that. Yeah. It generates really crisp frequencies. And you can probably hear, can you hear that the sound is coming from all here? Now it only works good at high frequencies. That's why they have a standard conventional loudspeaker here. And if you want to know how a conventional loudspeaker works, we just posted, where's Gene? We just posted um, a video on this. And you can Google conventional loudspeaker. We're down on the list a little bit, but we're rising. <laughs> it's up to you. Bring us up. <laughs> 